Hey everyone, my name is Jonathan and welcome to Academy of Mine. Today we're going to talk about SCORM and uploading SCORM packages from external authoring tools like Articulate Storyline, Adobe Captivate, and iSpring into the LMS. SCORM stands for Shareable Content Object Reference Model. And in summary, when e-learning materials are put into SCORM packages, then your courses become portable from one LMS to another. In other words, you can easily reuse your e-learning courses from other LMSs with the Academy of Mine LMS without alteration. Since the exporting process is different depending on the authoring tool you're using, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upload SCORM to the LMS, then I'll show you how a SCORM course looks from the student view, and how admins can report on SCORM activity once a course is live. And with that being said, if you wanna learn more about exporting SCORM packages, I'll put a documentation link in the description that covers how to export SCORM packages from five of the most popular authoring tools. All right, let's get started. All right, so from the admin dashboard, you want to click courses, then under modules, there's an option that says SCORM. Let's click SCORM. Now create SCORM module. And the first thing we're going to do is enter, enter the module's name. Next, if you would like to track completion on the SCORM package, you can toggle that on here. And if this is toggled on, then students will have to view all the SCORM slides for this module to be recorded as completed in the LMS. Last but not least, before actually uploading the SCORM package, if you are using course categories to bundle courses for selling online or for offering memberships, you can select the categories here. Bum, bum, bum. It's time to add the SCORM content. Your SCORM package zip file must first be uploaded to the SCORM packages library before it can be added to a module. And this can be done in two ways. The easiest way would just be clicking choose SCORM package from this window right here. Then you upload the SCORM zip right here. And once the upload is complete, all you have to do is scroll down below to this actual library of already uploaded files and click choose slash select. And then that's gonna actually upload this SCORM package fully. And as you can see, you can preview how the SCORM package loads here. If you wanted to just check to make sure things were working before saving and you know fully testing this out. The second option you have would do, be doing something similar, and this might make more sense if you're uploading a bunch of SCORM packages, is if you look to your left under the Assets tab on the admin dashboard, you have SCORM packages. You can upload everything directly there, and then by the time you come into this Create SCORM module, you're already going to have a bunch of SCORM packages in the library that you can choose from. And it's worth mentioning that the second method makes more sense if you want to upload SCORM packages before actually creating the module. But at the end of the day, they both upload the package the exact same way. So it's completely up to you and your company. All right. Once you've uploaded the SCORM package, one of the last things you have to do is make sure you click update module. So everything saves. And now we're going to actually add this module to a course so that we can check out how it really functions when you log in as a student. Okay, so I've gone over the concept of adding modules into a course over many different videos, and I'll put a link in the description or something on the screen for those of you who wanna learn more, but it's really, really simple. From anywhere in the admin dashboard, you just click on courses, then you click on all courses, and you hover your mouse over whichever course you wanna add the SCORM package to, and then you click edit, or you go on the right to the dot, 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 and there's an edit under that option too. But either way, you click edit, and once you're in here, you want to, you'll see step one, two, three, and four. Click on step two, the curriculum, scroll down to the bottom, and there's an add module. And you just add the module. And since it's an existing module, all you have to do is type the name of the module. And we named this module test one. So just type in a couple words, it'll come up. Um, module test one, click on that, then it's added to the module. And you can drag and drop this up or down. Um, you can add a, you can require users to spend a minimum time in the module and you can lock the module until previous content is completed. And there's a couple more options, uh, like you can create this module, you can drip the content out basically. So the SCORM package only comes out on a certain date, or you can use fixed intervals 
to release the availability of this module. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too long-winded, but I felt like explaining the different options once you've added the module makes sense. So like I said, though, as a refresher, you drag and drop it up or down depending on where you want this in the inside of a course. So we're just gonna drag this module, the SCORM package, all the way up at the very top. So when we log in as a student to and, and to look at how this functions as a student, can go into the course and it's the very first uh, module that we'll be going through. And then of course, once you drag and drop it, click update course. All right, to log in as a student, the easiest way to do that from here is just type in the search box student and click on one of your students. Make sure whichever student you click on is actually enrolled in the course which we just added the score module to. But once you click on that student, you're brought here. Make sure you log in as this user. And then now we're currently impersonating the user. So when this student logs into LMS, this is exactly what they see. So we can click on launch course. And as you can see, this is the SCORM package. You can go a couple slides in. You can stay in here for five minutes. And we're just going to do a couple things. And then we're going to go back as the admin view, uh, as the administrator, and I'll show you that you can actually track the activity. So now if we go back as an admin, if we go to users, all users, and we just search up that student right here and we can click view activity. But you'll be able to see that we just accessed this student uh, module one. It has activity before because I just accessed it right before I was actually recording this. Um, but you can see the activity and if you wanted to go back and view other progress, you would be able to go to view progress right here and it shows how much time I've spent in there. And once I've completed and gone through every slide, this is going to be at 100%, 100%. So we'll have completed the SCORM package and that'll account for, you know, I'll get a different percentage here in accordance to how much I've done in the whole course. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead and, and use SCORM in the LMS because it's definitely a great way to make your courses more interactive, more animated. You may or may not want to work with an instructional designer for these, but SCORM packages can be a game changer for e-learning and training online. With that being said, if you do want to learn more about exporting SCORM packages with authoring tools, like I said at the beginning of this video, check the description and I will put a link of some extensive documentation we have showing you how to do just that. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. And make sure to go ahead and click subscribe so you can watch our weekly videos and you never miss out. See ya.